Okay, in today's video we're going to talk about a new feature that we've added to IPA that will allow you to cut and paste multiple assets into your input sheet here. And when I say multiple assets, I mean it'll allow you to organize those assets and then just cut and paste them so you don't have to type anything. So to do that, we created what's called an IPA converter, which converts cell data into comma-separated data. And I'll show you that here in a second. If you already have comma-separated data like street, comma, city, comma, state, comma, zip, you can select that, copy it, and click this paste button and it'll come in because that's the correct format. If you do not have that, you can download this IPA converter by clicking this button. It'll ask you to download the file. I'm going to put this uh, on my downloads folder and I'm um, going to save it. And once it's downloaded, I'm going to click this button down here and I'm going to say open or show, show in folder. And once it's downloaded, this is the file that I've downloaded. Now, Microsoft has implemented something new where if you have a macro enabled file, it's going to come up with an error. So if I double click on this right now, it's not going to come up with an error. It's just going to tell me that um, it's blocking the data. It says security risk. Microsoft has blocked macros running this because of security measures. That has been implemented recently. So what we're going to do <clears throat> to get around this is to right click on the file Go to Properties, and right here it says under Security, Unblock. You can unblock it, hit Apply, and then you only have to do that once. And then I would copy this to your desktop or wherever, put it by IPA somewhere. Then you can open it, and it should open just fine, no problems. Once this is open, you'll see a series of buttons here. Now what we have is our addresses on the left and we have our lean information on the right. So if you open up your tape, and I have one open right now, this is actually the tapes that we send out and it's already done in the correct format. So if you simply wanted to take it from our tape, you can copy the address data straight from the tape and then paste it right into uh, the converter and generate it go back and do the same thing with the note information and then paste it in. So what I'm going to show you now is how to do it without our tape. So for instance, if you had a raw tape that somebody gave you, it's going to be probably in some different format, uh, something like this. And in this raw tape, things aren't going to be organized like we have them organized. Most of the time you're going to have street, city, uh, state, and zip organized like that in a tape. And um, I'm going to show you a shortcut in how to get this organized so that you can create your comma separated files. We, what we've done here in the data converter is we've created this template file for you. So you can download this. And again, I'm just going to put this in my downloads folder and I'm going to open it up and this is just a very simple template there's nothing to it um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these columns here uh, you can either control C or right click copy and I'm going to go back to my tape and I'm going to find the street city zip and I'm going to go to the next column and I'm going to insert copied cells okay the reason I do this is because it makes it easy for me just to cut and paste into these columns to put it in the, in the correct format now we already have all of these in the correct format so I'm going to go ahead and select those columns I'm going to control cut control X for cut or right click cut and then I'm going to come over here to uh, street and I'm going to paste. Okay. 
I'm going to do the same thing with the note information over here. Uh, I have an original balance, which is something we need. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste it into the original balance column. We have a current balance, which is usually your UPB. So I'm going to cut this and paste it into the UPB column. And then as we're going down, we're, we're, we're looking for any one of these, the payment, the rate, the term, the dates. So the stuff that you see that you don't need, you can either delete them or hide them. Uh, it doesn't matter because you don't really need to save this when you're done. So we, we've got a term here. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to paste it into the term. We've got a rate here. I'm going to cut the rate. Oh, this is the original rate and the current rate. I'm going to cut the rate. And I'm going to paste it in. We've got a P&I. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to paste it in. Now we're looking for dates. So let's keep going down until we find dates. Here's some dates here. I'm going to clear these out. So we're looking for original date, first pay date, next due date. So origination date looks like this. Uh, first pay date. here. Next due date goes here. Now you're probably asking why would you do this? Um, you know, it takes a little bit of time to do it. Well, if you have a tape of, you know, 100 or so assets like this one, and you want to go through them and keep organized and know what you've organized in IPA, this is a good way to do it. So now all you got to do from here is grab your your um, addresses here and control C or right click copy go to the converter tool paste go back to your your tape do the same thing notes We're going to copy back to IPA and paste that in. And they're going to come in in the same order as, as your addresses. And that's the whole um, beauty of this because it's going to keep you organized. What we've done over here is we have an organized column. You can you have X, Y, N, and M. Um, X just means you, you want to check a couple of these, some of them that you're interested in. Uh, y means maybe yes, you're interested. No means absolutely not, and it crosses it out. M is a maybe. And then when you're ready, you hit generate, and it creates your comma-separated information here. Same thing with your lean information. Oh, uh, this is interesting. It says must convert rate to a percentage, click on the convert button. Um, I forgot we added this. If if the information comes in on the tape that's not in the correct format, this is smart and will recognize it. So I need to hit convert. And what it'll do is it'll convert it into a percentage for you so you can generate it. And now it's ready to copy and paste into IPA. So let's just say that we're interested in this peanut lane here, okay? So I'm going to copy to IPA the addresses, and it's asking me now to select one of these addresses. I'm going to select the peanut, peanut address here, um, and I'm going to say OK. Now it's saying go to IPA and go to the input sheet and click Paste. So we're going to go back to IPA. We're going to hit Paste. It's going to paste that address in. We're going to go back to our converter tool 
and we're going to do the same thing with our note information. So we're going to copy to IPA. It's going to ask us, what do we want to copy? We want to copy this because we've highlighted this whole row here. So this is the comma separated information for the notes. OK. And then we're going to go back to IPA and paste. <clears throat> Once that's in there, we need to let IPA know whether this is occupied or vacant. We always choose occupied. I believe this is indeed a first position on performing. If we go back to our template file, you can see that we we were able to successfully bring in that peanut uh, file. Let's say that we liked it. We'll put a, a yes on it. Um, we haven't looked at any of these others. We don't know if that's a maybe or not. Uh, if we want to, we can filter this information. So there's a filter button up here. You can filter by state, city, street, zip, the name. Uh, you can even filter by UPB, the rates, the terms, whatever you want. So if we were interested in looking at maybe uh, filtering by mm, all rates greater than 3%, we can do that. So now we're looking at all the rates greater than 3%. <clears throat> and, um, and it's given us the highest ones first. So if we wanted to uh, unfilter it, we can just click the unfilter button and it goes back to where it was. So it's kind of smart that way. Also, if you get stuck and you need some instructions, you can click the instructions button. This is a floating window. So you can do stuff while this is open. Uh, when you're done, you just close it. And if you're completed with the whole thing, you can clear all. Or you can name it. Um, this is a good practice up here. If this is uh, tape one of, of five or whatever, you can uh, name it up here. You know, usually there's some kind of name to it, um, depending on who's selling the tape. So that keeps you kind of organized in knowing what tape you're looking at. I would uh, obviously keep everything highlighted that you've, you've done. So in this case, we've, we've only done one. And um, if we were to save it, we can save it as a particular file. Um, we'll put it on the desktop and we'll say, we'll just call this um, APA Converter Test. So you can actually save multiple files of this however you want. Keep, keep in mind that we're going to update this periodically. So if you, I would say maybe on a monthly basis, uh, just check to see the download, see if uh, there's a new version. Uh, everything here is labeled. So if you have an older version, it will be labeled as an older version. I think one of the first versions we came out with didn't have the number on there. so. If you do have that, uh, go ahead and replace it. So that's it in a nutshell. That is our IPA data converter.